everybody. Thanks for watching. We're at the uh, Harbor Leland Township here. We're standing next to Russell Zuba, who's the Harbor Master. Russ, thanks for taking time. Welcome. Gorgeous day here in Leland, but you were telling us off camera it was kind of a cold spring for you and that kind of did that cause problems I and mean, what, what did that do for you it's just a slow start um, we had a midge hatch so that would repel any boaters um, currently we have the alewives in the harbor right now that kind of repels boaters because of the activity with the seagulls mm -hmm. but it's slow it's cool right now and uh, you know we need we need 65 75 degrees before we start to see people show up surface temp out there right now is 34 degrees yeah so you know, the fishing might be good, but it's not your bathing suit weather. Now we're here at the harbor, and you see behind us, and I'm counting maybe four boats, maybe five or so, a handful of boats. So this is, is this low for the beginning of June? Yeah, it'll fill in. Our big weekend, the start of our season is the Leland uh, Food and Wine Festival. It mm -hmm. takes place next weekend, and that'll attract uh, a group, Traverse City group will show up. And then after that, it fills in. We'll, okay. we'll start to see people move up the lake. We get a lot of Chicago, Milwaukee, uh, Grand Haven, South Haven, uh, a lot of folks from Wisconsin. So they'll the, start coming across. One of the big things that happened recently is you guys purchased yourself a dredge. It's uh, pretty new to you, and you had to because, well, you explain why you had, but you had to. Yeah, so we were uh, the the channel was totally plugged up with sand, about twenty-five thousand cubic yards. Uh, we had a good storm in January, and that sealed the deal. It was over with. There was nobody that was going to come and go out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew that we were going to buy a dredge, and we took uh, delivery on April 7th, and we took a week of uh, practice with a teacher. And after that, a week and a half later, we were done. We'd moved all the sand. So it's open. It's down to 12 feet and uh, thoroughly totally navigable channel. And it's not like you just jump in the dredge and start going. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into that. There's a learning curve, but yeah, the deployment of the pipe, there's about 2,500 feet of 12 inch pipe that, that goes down the beach. We're, we're uh, permitted to place the sand on the beach for beach nourishment. And so, yeah, deploying the pipe and then get in the dredge and, and start uh, to do the, do the job. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into it before you yeah. fire that thing up. We're here at the harbor with the harbor master talking about oh, dredging and what's going on with the harbor. As you sit here early June, what do you look forward to? How do your days change when it starts to get busier? Well, the hours will certainly get longer. Um, and we'll just have, we have arrivals well into the afternoon, evening, early evening. Uh, fuel sales start to pick up. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's like a beehive here in July and August. Right. After that, things, second week of September, or so, second week of August, it starts to slow down. We start right. to see the weather change. It starts to come out of the north, and uh, your autumnal switch uh, happens at that point. The lake gets rough every three or four days, yeah. and, and then uh, things slow down relatively quickly. Right. So what does a typical day look like for a harbor master? Well, we start early in the season with uh, uh, taking reservations. Yeah. So at by the time the Fourth of July gets here, I have day sheets, and you know, you come to work, you look at what you have, you look at who's departing, and you try to figure out where you're going to put these people. <laughs> and so that's a game of Tetris we play every day. Yeah. And then uh, fuel docks busy, um, and then we just have maintenance things. We mow lawns and and keep the restrooms clean, and you know there's just a lot of activity that takes place. How long have you been harbor master here? This is 15 years. Yeah, you know? yeah. How does one become a harbor master? <laughs> it's like a Loaded it's question. like a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know I worked as the assistant for four years, and uh, you know. People move, people move yeah, on, right, and so right. I, I call it a sentence. <laughs> Russ, thanks for the time. Sure enough. With the Harbor Master in Leland, I'm Vic McCarty for My News 26.